falling stars. Of course, sometimes you can see a shining shooting star in the sky. But have you ever questioned about where do they fall or whether they fall to the Earth? Meteors are called falling stars. Every night, from anywhere in the world, you can see meteors. Of course, the sky is cloudless and the stars are visible well enough. Scientists believe that up to 6 tons of meteorites fall to the Earth every day. And in a year, it will be about 2,000 tons of meteorites. Celestial objects that are much smaller in size than an asteroid, but larger than interplanetary dust. Meteors, meteorites and meteoroids. What is the difference between those concepts? A meteor in astronomy is the phenomenon of a meteoroid falling into the Earth's atmosphere. In other words, a meteor is a body that burns up in the atmosphere before reaching the surface of the planet. A meteoroid is a celestial body intermediate in size between interplanetary dust and an asteroid. When many small meteoroids enter the Earth's atmosphere, we absorb meteor rains. Flying through the atmosphere of the planet, the meteoroid loses from 80 to 95 percent of its mass and takes a shape which is different from the shape it had when it orbited the Earth. If a meteoroid reaches the surface of a planet, it's called a meteorite. This is the main difference between a meteoroid and a meteorite. In simple words, everything that doesn't burn up and falls to the Earth is called a meteorite. Even though the numbers of objects falling to the Earth from space every day is very large, they are too small to cause harm. In 1985, the journal Nature calculated that if we recall all the known cases, we can say that meteorites fall on a person about once every 180 years. So, the possibility that a meteorite will fall on a person's head is not very high. Meteorites are unusual and beautiful. There are many people willing to buy meteorite stones for a lot of money. Typically, prices start from approximately $250 and go up to $350,000. So, if you find a meteorite stone, don't rush this through with the weight. Maybe a real treasure fell from the sky for you. How to determine that a stone is a meteorite? There are several ways to distinguish a real meteorite from an origin stone. A real meteorite flies through the atmosphere, and because of high temperature while falling, its surface boils, and the upper layers of meteorite always retain strikes of high temperature. Characteristic dents, similar to bursting bubbles are the first features of a meteorite. Also, in 90% of cases, the meteorite stone is highly magnetized. This can be checked on a metal detector.